probably the number one thing people ask me is where to hide the body. I mean, it's the natural next step. You've discombobulated them and now it's time to hide them. Well, that's what I'm here for. I'm gonna show you guys the best spots, some tips and tricks along the way, and you're gonna be pros by the end of this video. A lot of people think that the woods are really safe. Those people are wrong. Now you may be saying, Josh, you're just here after you've murdered some dude in the backyard of your suburban house on 270 Mall Oaks Drive, Missouri. But you know, it's, it's still really dangerous out here. I could find snakes. I could get bitten by a spider. I guess that's it. But you know, snakes are dangerous. When people talk about how good of an idea it is for you to off people who perturb you, they never talk about like the aftermath. You don't get any credit for it, like at all. Like literally today, I was in Spanish class and everyone was like, did you hear what happened to John? He got murdered. And I had to like hide my face because I, I couldn't let them see how much I was blushing, you know? Uh, and you don't, you don't get any of the credit for that and you just have to hide your identity. And that part, that can get to you, you know? You can try to let it slip because you want to tell people like, oh my gosh, I did that. You know, you see yourself on the news. You're like, that was me. But no one, no one knows it was you. Like this must be what ISIS felt like when America invaded Iraq. Okay, so here we have a great spot. So what, what makes this great? Well, there's dirt here that we can shovel up. And it's in like the middle of nowhere, essentially, you know. Obviously, you know, it is behind my house on 270 Mall Oaks Drive in Missouri. But besides that, you know, they're never going to find this spot, you know. Unless they, like, know somehow that I hid the body right next to, like, a giant tree surrounded by a bunch of small trees in my backyard to the left. They're never going to be able to triangulate the position unless they know that information in the first place. Which makes this spot just... You know, it makes it great. Because they're never going to know that. Ever. It's like 90 degrees outside. I really wish I didn't wear black. Or a jacket. But, uh... Oh well, you know. What are you going to do about it? not like I could have known that this would have been too hot and it's not like I could have just walked back inside and taken my jacket off real quick you know I guess sometimes life is just unavoidable you know it's sad but it's true and I am sweating so much right now but you gotta do what you gotta do for the grind you know okay it's been a long day i just finished up the job so i'm gonna head back up to the house maybe watch some of the office you know just kind of decompress i've had i've had a stressful day you know people don't get how hard it can be so you know, it's been a long day. It's been worth it. You know, I, I love it. I love this, you know. But I am going to have to sign out for today. And remember, if someone's annoying you, you can only control your response. What they choose to do after you've stabbed them is out of your control. You know, if they decide to bleed out, that's not on you. All right. See you all next time.